Cool, so you've done your research, right? You know what types of spaces you want to book. Rockabilly dive bars, art galleries, living rooms, jazz clubs, what have you. But now you need a tour. So we'll just talk a bit about booking an appropriate string of cities to fit your schedule. Let's just assume you'll be starting in your home city, which means you'll eventually have to loop back home. So we'll help you design a nice looping tour plot. First, list your anchor cities. They might not be big cities like Boston or Chicago, but places where you have friends or family, and you know you can get a solid amount of people to come out to your gig, or at least some help to promote it. These anchors will be like guides for the other cities on your tour, so use them to plan dates in between. Find a few cities that aren't too far apart and string together a route with short driving distances. You don't want to be driving for more than four to five hours per day, or you'll burn both your energy and gas money. Stick to cities and towns that are around two to three hours away from each other when booking consecutive nights. Now typically you're not going to get your first choice every time with gigs, so leave your options open. Plot an itinerary that allows you to make some changes without destroying that precious route you've designed. Try targeting smaller states with a few sizable cities a short distance away, just in case you need to make some minor changes to the route. Here's a tip. Try to book all your weekend gigs first, because venues actually book those nights several months in advance. They are your audience strongholds, considering most people only go out on weekends. Don't knock the smaller cities. Some of the most well-attended gigs happen in places that don't get a lot of action from touring bands, especially college towns where there's a high demand for live music every night. Playing in smaller cities, you might end up with a few really great contacts for next time and get a leg up on building a loyal fan base in that region, which brings up a great point. Smaller cities can be great anchors. I recently did something I'd never done before. My band played a small coffee shop concert for my parents and all of their friends in the town where they live. They don't often make it to New York for gigs, so this was something special I felt I owed to them for all of their support. Tons of people showed up and almost everyone bought our album. In the end, it was the perfect anchor gig and helped us get to Providence the next night. When in doubt, be the support act. So let's say you've committed to being in Lexington, Kentucky on the 19th, but you're having trouble booking a gig. See if you can pitch a larger theater or venue, or local promoter, and ask to support the headliner playing that night. Lastly, test touring is always smart. Wherever you are, you know you've got great cities less than a few hours away. Don't be afraid to just get in the car and go for it. Book a few gigs out of town on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. These mini tours will help you and your band understand some of the basics of longer tours. You can start developing your fan bases out there, and you'll learn a lot just by doing.